Hi, my name is Dan, um, and with Emily, we are Rambling Ambition, and we are constantly working on our 2019 Sprinter van to upfit it to be able to travel and uh, go do things. So uh, from here, I think today, we are going to work on getting these door panels made. So we've been trying to do this for a couple weekends, and uh, we always seem to get sidetracked. So I think that's going to be the plan for the day. We're going to use the same material as the ceiling and uh kind of we got to make our patterns and then uh cut out the pieces of wood so if this is something you're interested in uh please stick around for the video all right so the plan is we just got some uh basically some construction paper from hobby lobby which is a craft store near us i'm going to take this and we're going to trace out uh the edges and uh hopefully that'll um gives us a good pattern that we can cut and they should be able to mirror both sides. All right, so we just cut this down. We just kind of pressed in a pattern and I want to see if this actually works first before doing anything else. All right, so that didn't work the way I thought it would. All right, so we messed with it a little bit more and I think I got a pretty good shape that we can almost make a a template out of to see if it actually uh, comes close to fitting. So we'll uh, trace this on some wood, cut it out, and see what happens. All right, so we transferred that paper template um, to a scrap piece, and we'll cut it out on the jigsaw real fast and see if it fits. All right, so here we go. We'll go and test fit it. Um, I think that turned out pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. All right, I think that's got it. All right, <clears throat> pretty happy with how that turned out. So we'll cut a uh, permanent sample out of off this template. I'll uh, finish the edges up a little bit make sure everything's nice and straight and then uh we'll cut one piece and see uh what it looks like all right so <clears throat> that process wasn't too bad um a lot of sanding a lot of just kind of uh fitting to get the two uh upper ones done so we got those two done and i think they turned out pretty good so now um we're gonna turn towards the uh the main window coverings and then the bottom so i believe these two are the same on the right and the left, but I know that this is different than the side with the handle. So we got a lot more uh, uh, arts and crafts and paper templates. You know, uh, it makes you appreciate the, the folks that do this uh, to provide the templates because you can certainly buy these cards from uh, someone. But at the cost, um, I'll invest my time to make them myself. So. All right, so here is the insert for the lower door um, on the driver's side. So we'll cut this out um, a little bit big, and uh, I think it's going to turn out pretty good. All right, we're just going to uh, trace the pattern out. All 
All right, uh, we got this cut out and I think it looks uh, pretty good. So that's uh, three of the four done that we need to get done. So uh, we'll work on the passenger side one with the handle and uh, then we'll tackle the windows last because I still got to figure out uh, how I want all that to look. So, um, so far so good. It's just a lot of fitting and cutting. Um, like I said earlier, certainly you can buy them, uh, but they come at a cost because someone has had to do what, what I'm doing just in a much more precise way than what I'm doing it. So, uh, but so far I think it's turning out uh, okay. All right, so just an update. Uh, we got all the cards made for the upper and the lower panels. So that's this one and this one right here um, on both doors. And we just put some uh, mold resistant primer on the back of them since the doors are not really sealed um, and they're not designed to be sealed. They're designed to, if there's something in there to drain. Um, so we put some mold resistant paint on the back. So as you can see, we just this is just our first coat. We'll put two coats of uh, mold resistant paint. I'm using a PPG primer um, that's got excellent, excellent adhesion. It dries fast and it's uh, mold and mildew resistant. So that way the back of the panels, um, if there's moisture back there, they'll be all right. All right, so it's the next day. Uh, we got the second coat of the um, primer on the back of the panels and then last night I put uh, two coats of clear on the panels and this is what they look like. So this would be the one for the passenger side. So it's got the cut out for the handle, the two pieces for the top and then the one uh, for the driver's side door. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do uh, for the areas where uh, the windows would be but we'll get these other uh, panels installed uh, so we can see uh, how it looks overall to put these in we're going to use a self-tapping screw same as what we did for the ceiling uh, so we'll do the bottom one on the driver's side first all right so i pre-drilled uh just some holes of course doesn't need that many but i don't want it to rattle so All right, I think uh, that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with it. All right, so that's the process we're gonna use for the rest of them. So I'm gonna uh, do that real quick. And uh, so you've seen how I did the first one. So I'll do the other three um, and uh, we'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, so we got that door, got that piece, that piece, and now the final one. So this has got the interior door latch mechanism. Um, for the van itself and uh, I went ahead and cut the hole out for it. Now I kind of wish that I didn't and just had left this uh, the way that it was because we're never going to use it. Um, but now that it's there, uh, there are a couple pieces with this latch that you have to deal with and um, the green and the white fittings go into these uh, select areas. So it's a little fiddly to get in because it's got a slide in. You can see right there, it has to slide in and then it slides over to lock in place. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so you can see this is for the door itself. And this is for the lock mechanism. And then this has got to slide into this slide into these two pieces and then slide over. So hopefully I cut the hole right. All right, we got it done. The handle fits perfectly. So I cut the hole right. I don't know how that happened, but we made it work. So I think that that's a nice kind of addition to the door. All right, now that those are done, I still don't know 
what I'm going to do with that. So uh, we're going to move on to the inside and the space where all the electronics and stuff go. I'm going to put a door on that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So right there, uh, we're going to put a door and I want the door to open this way. So it opens toward the ceiling. So we made a door just a little bit ago, rounded the edges nice. And we're going to use hinges that hinge here and here. And uh, I'll show you what type of hinge we're going to use and how we're going to uh, make that for the door itself. All right, so our plan is to use a concealed style hinge. And basically, these this sits down in a pocket. This attaches to the frame of the cabinet itself. And I have a jig for that. So I bought a Craig uh, concealed hinge jig. And what it does is it's these two marks down here allow you to set the offset from the edge. In particular, for this hinge, it's 1 8 inch uh, from the door itself. So it comes with a nice center line to match up with wherever you want to drill these. And then it comes with basically like a, um, this locks into the jig. Like that. And so you drill a nice straight hole every single time. So since we want the door to open this way, um, we come in three inches from each uh, from each edge, and then we'll line the jig up with this line and drill our holes. All right, so we'll take the jig. Line that up with the line. And then all right that gives us a nice hole that fits in there perfectly and so this also is nice because you just disconnect the drill recenter it on that line and then there's two pilot holes here that you can take a small bit and now you have a perfectly centered place for your screws so we'll do the other one all right so it was uh just that easy so turned out well can't see it from the front so from here we just got to paint this and then uh, install the hinges all right, we got a coat of primer on the top and the bottom, and we're just going to let that dry and uh, go back on inside and see. I'm going to show you all. We did relocate um, the switch for the lights up front. So that's right here. So now we can turn the lights on You know, right as we open the door. And then, of course, the drummer control is, is there as well. So... Uh, little pieces at a time. So this is where the grind kind of comes in, where you're just knocking off little projects here and there. So I think right now we're gonna, um, I'm gonna make the door that goes on the pantry. Um, so this one is gonna be a flush mount because I wanted it to be flush. So we just gotta make a panel that will um, go onto that and uh, put a handle on it. So we'll take some measurements real quick, cut a piece of uh, plywood out that fits the opening and uh, go from there all right there it is so it's filled in i think that turned out pretty good the reveal around it's nice and even all right so we got a couple uh, coats of paint on the door and uh we just placed the hinges in it and i think we're going to screw them down and then mount it up in the van all right so you can see the hinges are where they are we just got to put some screws in them All right, the big screws, these are for the inside of the van, and then these are for the hinges. All right, so that's open. Close so it'll sit 
like this and open up. Basically how these work is you put the big screw through there and then you have adjustments on this piece. And then these are made for three quarter inch frames and there's, you can see right here, this sits uh, in there so it gets aligned just how you want it to. All right, so we'll go put it in the van. Finish this project up. All right, so we're in the van and uh, we're gonna uh, mount that door uh, real fast. And uh, it's basically just measuring side to side to make sure that you got an even reveal on both sides of the opening. And then it's two, it's two simple screws, so. All right, so we know that um, the hinge is gonna be uh, about two and three eighths from the edge. And so we just stick a straight edge up. We find two and three eighths and two and three eighths. And that's going to give us about an, an inch and an eighth overlap on both sides. I made the door a little bit big because this center uh, piece is pretty big. I gotta be able to see. Pretty nice. I like it. So we'll put a handle like this right up on here and then we'll get a catch mechanism to hold it up um, so that it, it stays up there if we ever need to uh, put it up. But the, that is just more so that it looks the same than really anything else because we're not gonna need to be in here. Um, Unless we need to change a fuse. Awesome. I like it. Okay, so it's been a, a pretty good day. Um, we got the uh, door panel inserts done for the top and the bottom on the back doors. Uh, we got the door made for the electrical uh, thing. Electrical compartment, if you will. Um, and using the Craig jig made it super simple. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we used some Blum um hinges uh for that so uh pretty happy with how all the day went um oh we also did um the door cover for the pantry um so we got that done sometimes i think that this is this is the hard part uh right now because we're just knocking little things off the list all the big stuff for the most part is done we're just Kind of doing detail things and uh um sometimes that takes a little bit more time it's not as motivating as trying to get uh the big stuff done so uh but it's been satisfying and then there's um you know it's just it's understanding that the van can be usable if we want to it it certainly heats itself up much better now that we have the ceiling and now that the door cars are done i like i said earlier i still don't know what we're going to do for the area where the windows are I don't know if anybody has any suggestions. If you do, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I've seen a couple of different ways of doing things. Some people cover the whole door, which I didn't want to do. Uh, some people use epoxy or some kind of adhesive to adhere on uh, nailing blocks on the inside of that window frame and then just mount the panel to those blocks. And that's something I'm kind of thinking about. So I don't really know uh, what I want to do. Um, I do know that those doors sound a whole lot more solid uh, now with everything. So you, that echo is gone. And uh, so that's a good thing. Um, but so I guess that's enough for our rambling for the video uh, today. So I think uh, I'm pretty happy with what we were able to accomplish. It was cold today. Um, it was warmer yesterday. Uh, hopefully this will be the last cold uh, weekend we have before uh, spring comes. So. Um, if you've made it this long, <laughs> thank you so much for, for watching. 
Um, we are an Amazon affiliate, so anything that's in the description below are uh, links to our Amazon account. So if you want to buy anything for your van, uh, please uh, consider those. It doesn't cost any more money. It helps us out with our endeavors here. Um, so, uh, again, I appreciate you watching. Uh, this is Dan from Ramblin' Ambition, and we'll see you next weekend.